any fault in the earth at depth is under stress. It's under stress from the weight of the rocks above it, and it's also under stress from tectonic stresses in the crust. When we're fracking, we're injecting pressurized fluid underground. We're doing this in order to actually make cracks in the rock of interest in order to get the gas out. However, during your fracking operation, if you intersect a pre-existing fault, that pressurized fluid can find that fault and unpin it just a little bit and allow an earthquake to occur. Once we've recollected all the fracking fluid at the surface, it needs to be disposed in a more permanent way. We inject fluids underground, and if it intersects a fault, it could cause an earthquake at that point. There was a recent study that just came out in Ohio that showed a fault that was intersected near um, a fracking well, only that earthquakes along it only began when the fracking operation started intersecting the fault. So they, they had fr regular fracking operations going on and no earthquakes. As they moved closer to the fault in space, which they didn't know existed, the earthquakes turned on. In the Midwest and the Eastern United States, a lot of the faults are very ancient, and we don't know where all of them are, and there isn't a lot of surface expression. So we need to be very careful in looking for faults before fracking operations begin, and that would be a good way to um, reduce our risk of, of causing an earthquake. Mm -hmm.